News flash! There are two new AWS cloud certifications. And these two new certifications are not quite related to those technologies we are focusing on for this channel. However, I still believe it's all worth checking out. So we'll look at the details such as exam cost, number of questions, exam coverage, etc. And later we will decide if these certifications are something that we want to acquire in the future. So let's begin. I'm here now in AWS certification page. And as I scroll down, we'll get to the available AWS certifications. And as you can see, we have multiple levels. The first level here is the foundational level. When I say foundational level, this is below associate level. It's super beginner level. Now we have this new certification. It's AWS certified AI practitioner. Again, it's foundational level. And this is actually the same level of the more popular AWS certified cloud practitioner. And as you see, there is an icon here. It says beta. Why? Because this is still in beta exam or beta version exam. Now the second level or after or above the foundation level is the associate level. We have this new certification, AWS Certified Machine Learning Engineer Associate. Like this certification is also in beta version. Okay, so if you look at the associate level, it's getting more and more crowded. We have now five certifications under associate level. And this is because AWS Certified Data Engineer Associate, this is practically a new certification exam. And AWS only introduced this certification just a few months ago. Now, if you look at these two levels, professional and specialty, you may think these are two different levels, but no, both of them are more mid and professional level. It's above associate, but neither of these two are expert level. So each or all of these certification exams cost 300 US dollars for both professional and specialty. So what AWS did is, they already have this AWS Certified Machine Learning specialty. And as we all know, machine learning and AI technologies are getting more and more popular. And these technologies are um, getting more and more advanced. So they kind of thought, if we already have a machine learning specialty level, why not create an associate level? So that's why, this is just my opinion, that's why they created an associate level machine learning certification. And uh, for the foundational level, um, they kind of thought, oh, it's also a good idea to introduce these technologies to those non-technical people. That's why we have AWS certified AI practitioner on their foundational level. And maybe you're thinking, this is AI, this two are machine learning. Well, here's the thing. For many professionals, they see machine learning and AI technologies are interchangeable, okay? Sometimes we can use, or they, or we, it doesn't matter. Sometimes we or they use machine learning for AI technologies or AI for machine learning, vice versa, okay? Uh, some people consider this the same or very similar. But anyway, machine learning, AI, they kind of created a separate path for this. Okay, for foundational level, they call it AI practitioner. Uh, for associate level, machine learning engineer. And for the specialty level, it's just machine learning. Okay, so let's look at these two new certifications. I will start with the foundational level, AWS certified AI practitioner. And this is only available after August 13. Well, the registration opens August 13, so you'll have to take this I don't think you'll, you can take this on the same day, maybe 14 or maybe after a few more days. Now let's look at the details. So this is 85 questions in 128 minutes, excuse me, 120 minutes. And the cost is 75 US dollars. This is actually less than your standard foundational level exam because uh, a foundational level exam like AWS certified cloud practitioner costs 100 US dollars. But since this is in beta version, it only costs 75 US dollars. And this certification exam is intended to those 
who are familiar but do not necessarily build solutions using AI and ML technologies on AWS. Now, I'm very curious, and probably you are too, who are or what candidate roles uh, who can take this exam. Now, surprisingly, well, I'm not really surprised, but these are the roles. It's not only for technical people, you know, business analyst. I support technical people, yeah? Marketing professional, product and project managers, IT managers, even sales professional. You see, some of the mentioned roles are not really technical. Sales, marketing, product manager, business analyst. No, they're not. So they are kind of created a certification exam for everyone who wants to understand AI and machine learning technologies. So let's look at the description for this certification exam. It validates in-demand knowledge for AI and machine learning and generative AI concepts and use cases. And this is to sharpen your competitive edge and position yourself for career growth and higher earnings. Not bad. And here are the steps to earn the certification. So first, we need to know the topics that is included in the certification exam. This includes these three technologies, AI, machine learning, and generative AI. Uh, use cases for these three technologies, design considerations, model, training and fine tuning, what else? Prompt engineering, uh, responsible AI. And this is something that I myself, even you are very interested about, security and compliance for AI systems. Now, the second step is refresh your AWS knowledge and skills. Here's what I expect. The exam coverage is related to the more popular AWS services, such as compute, database, uh, maybe even storage, or AI-related AWS services. So this will refresh your AWS knowledge and skills. The third step, this is very interesting, you know. So even the certification exam is not yet available, AWS already introduced exam preparation plan. And we have two options here, the standard and the enhanced exam preparation plan. So let's open first the, the first one, the standard exam preparation. Okay, and it says here, free resources. Let's check them out. Let's check them out. So this is under AWS Skill Builder, and yes, it's all free. Okay, it's all free. The standard exam preparation is for free. Now this is a, this is a good strategy is to just look at the exam preparation plan. If you don't like it, all right, stop learning. Okay, and. Uh, Maybe don't take the, the certification exam soon. Uh, you may wait for the complete version or the full version, but if you think this is something that you're interested about and you, uh, the, the exam preparation plan standard is not enough, you can go for the enhanced exam preparation plan. And this one, I believe is not for free. I believe this is part of the monthly or annual skill builder subscription. But none of the less, we still have free resources, okay? Assess your exam readiness and resource or more resources will be available on August 13th. So let's look at the second certification exam. This is AWS Certified Machine Learning Engineer Associate. Again, also in beta version, the exam format is... 85 questions also cost 75 US dollars now for the associate level exams um, this cost 150 US dollars so if you pass this exam um, you actually save 75 US dollars less right now this is intended for more technical people as you can see at least one year of experience in using Amazon SageMaker and other machine learning engineering AWS services. And the candidates' roles who are going to take this exam, again, more technical, software developers, DevOps engineers, data engineers, machine learning operations engineer, and data scientists. Okay, same format, person VUE or online proctor exam. Uh, the offered languages are English and Japanese. Now let's look at the description. It validates technical ability to implement machine learning workloads in production and 
and operationalizing them. Boost your career profile and credibility and position yourself for in-demand machine learning job roles. Okay, now let's look at the steps. Get to know the exam content, uh, data preparation for ML models, feature engineering, model training, performance and metrics, uh, performance and cost optimization, and again, security is included for this certification exam. Uh, full details will be available on August 13th. All right, same format. The second is I personally believe that this certification exam also includes or related to some AWS services. Now, the third part here is, is preparation. And uh, like what we have from the first certification exam, AWS already provided the standard exam preparation plan. And again, these are all for free. The enhanced exam preparation plan, um, probably the same format. This is paid, uh, but this is part of the monthly and annual skill, AWS skill builder subscription. Okay. And uh, the last step is exam readiness and uh, resources and the registration will be available after a couple of months. Okay. Because at the time of this recording is only June 12. So we still need to wait for a couple of months more. So that's it. These are the two certifications, AWS certified AI practitioner and AWS Certified Machine Learning Engineer Associate. What do you think, guys? I will probably get AWS Certified AI Practitioner beta exam. This is just 75 US dollars. And maybe in a year or two, I will get the AWS Certified Machine Learning Associate. And my reason is this. Currently, I am specializing in cloud security. AWS to be specific and AI and machine learning will still grow and eventually will become more powerful. That is what I am foreseeing in the future. AI and machine learning is highly integrated with cloud computing technologies. So it's not a bad idea to extend the cloud security skills to AI and machine learning security skills.